What's up dudes and dudes it's in the year and up my name is Seth and today we're gonna be taking a look at the subclass ability for the Tomb Razor. We're gonna be hanging on our Dino Tamer again and we are on the test server so a lot of this is subject to change. I should get in the habit of actually saying that in these videos. Uh, but most of all it's the power rank and the level of the character that's going to end up changing uh, and potentially meaning that one day I'll have to make updated videos of all of these things as I end up getting more powerful on the live server but for the test server this is the best that I got. So the level of the character that your subclass is going to determine the passive stat augment, uh, but the power rank is going to determine the actual ability itself. So fallen enemies have a chance to spawn a random minion. Only one minion can be active at a time. So this is interesting uh, as far as the power rank uh, aspect is concerned, because while we're going to end up being able to spawn not only just a normal little skeleton dude, uh, but there's also like a, a bunch of different little variants of uh, little summons that you can end up having, little minions if we can ever get this stupid skill to trigger my goodness gracious uh, but most of all the thing that I find so interesting about it is that it seems like as you end up getting more power rank, uh, the minion itself is not only going to end up being uh, a little bit more powerful and threatening, it's also going to end up changing the type of minion. So right here you see we just got this little guy right here. All I've seen is this little fairy ally uh, and then just the normal little skeleton baby. But then I've also seen that uh, people with higher power rank can end up spawning uh, a creature that looks like the Tomb Raider's ultimate at level one, of course, so it's very small and very tiny. Uh, but then also just world bosses and stuff like that and uh, ones that look like enemies and things like that So it's really really cool now the fact of the matter is that these minions uh, are absolutely useless for damage characters uh, Like for DPS it is just not good uh, Not only you can see right there that it is actually just gonna die in like one second flat uh, and most of all that's because what it actually, uh, you know, where it actually ends up getting its stats is based off of your character. So the more max health you have, the more max health the little minion has. The more health regen you don't want to have, the more health regen your little baby's going to end up having, right? So you gotta kind of keep all of that in mind when you're actually dealing with your little minion, dude. But the fact of the matter is, folks, that uh, they're pretty useless as far as the damage character is concerned. So uh, it's entirely up to you whether you want to actually use this ability just for the coolness factor of it but the fact is that it doesn't really spawn very often uh, again ultimately I don't really see this being very useful honestly I'm not even convinced that the ally has an attack animation uh, because I've never seen it but then again my minions would always run up to an enemy and just kind of kill themselves on them anyway so I honestly can't say but if you're getting them for tanking purposes, then potentially I could see it being good uh, just because they are going to kind of take aggression from the enemies. Most of all, if you get out of the aggro range, but the enemy AI and trove is pretty bad in general, so you can't really rely on it. Ultimately, it's a cool idea executed extremely poorly, so I don't really see it being an ability that anybody's going to use unless you end up just having uh, two classes and one of them is the Tomb Raider, right? Thanks for watching, though, folks. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Uh, I'll put a link in the description not only to the playlist with all of the different class uh, uh, subclass abilities, but also a longer, lengthier video that talks about all of them in bulk if you got the extra time. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to have a whole bunch of other shorter tutorials similar to this one. Thanks so much for watching, though, folks. Sayonara and stay epic.